Hi, I'm Dr. Elliot Adam from ElliotOracle.com. I'm also the author of Fearless Tarot, How to Give a Positive Reading in Any Situation, which is out now from Llewellyn Books. So if you like my uh, present and positive approach to tarot, you're going to really love this book. Uh, it is time for this week's Oracle Reveal. So earlier today on Instagram, I placed up a photo of three different animals, and I asked you to use your intuition and ask yourself which animal is getting caught in your head because there's a message in there for you. And the animals were the brown bear, the dove, and also the cow. So if you're just joining us right now, ask yourself which animal is kind of tugging at your, your heartstrings a little bit right now, because that is going to be the animal for you. For brown bear, it says take a time out. And bear is a card or an animal archetype of reflection, withdrawal, going within. Sometimes revisiting the underworld within yourself and really processing everything that's happened up into this point. The bear is telling you to retreat from the world periodically in order to get in touch with what's deepest within you and to really know that there's treasure to be gained by going within. Uh, the first card for bear is where it's best to place your focus this next week. We got the Three of Pentacles, which is a card of learning, education, and knowledge. The Three of Pentacles is also a card of perfecting something, whether it's a skill or refining something that you're learning. But this is a card of tenacity, and it's telling you not to give up on the goal that you have and really to stay focused on it. This is also a card of manifestation because we can see the monks in the monastery handing the craftsmen a set of plans. And on the plans drawn there, if you can see it, is the exact monastery that the craftsman is building. And so what this is indicating is that this is a good time for you to draw up a plan and figure out how you're going to manifest your greatest goals at this time. And be uh, open to learning when we see the Three of Pentacles. This is a card that says be teachable. Uh, know that the information is out there and uh, by gathering more information, it's actually helping you. Second card is uh, advice from your inner wisdom this next week. And we get the Ten of Pentacles, so two Pentacles cards. Both are talking about that element of earth, which is all about getting grounded and rooted and really planting yourself in the present moment and deciding what to do next. These are also cards of practicality. So this could be a week where you really want to be more practical and pragmatic. The Ten of Pentacles is a card of building a legacy, uh, really investing your time and energy in the important things, the big picture things, the things that are going to last. Uh, that's why it shows a family on the card. So this could be a time when you're really reflecting on where you're going and how you want to achieve that long-term stability for yourself. And finally, the mythic archetype that can be teaching you this next week is Orpheus, the musician. He lost his wife tragically to death, and so he goes into the underworld, and he plays his beautiful lyre, his harp, and he ends up moving the god of the underworld, Hades, and his wife, Persephone, to tears. And they feel so bad for him that they make an exception, and they say, you know what, we love your music, so you can take your wife back up to the surface. But before you get back to the surface, do not look behind you. Trust that she's there, but don't look behind you. Leave the underworld first, and then you can see your wife. And Orpheus uh, leads his wife up through the underworld. And at the last second, he looks back before he gets back to the land of the living and his wife disappears. So I know that's a long story, but what Orpheus teaches you is to have faith in yourself. And how many times do we almost cross that threshold and we're almost clear and then we second guess ourselves and we look back and then suddenly everything that we were hoping for gets lost or seems lost. So this is a time to be courageous and have faith in your own song. Um, second, we got the dove spirit and it says be at peace. And dove is all about uh, peace, obviously. It's a symbol of peace, but it's also a messenger of spirit. And when Dove appears, it can really indicate that your ancestors may be giving you a message or you might be connecting to people even on the other side or seeing little signs or symbols that are reminding you of them at this time. Uh, Dove is really telling you to be at peace in the knowledge that uh, you're being looked after and supported. Um, the first card is where it's best to place your focus. And we got the Knight of Cups, who is the messenger of love. Uh, the Knight of Cups is seen to focus on love and also focus on expressing your love to others. And you don't have to be in a relationship to do Knight of Cups work. 
You can see he's got the winged helmet and shoes of Mercury, the messenger god. So the Knight of Cups is a master at communicating his deeper feelings. And this might be time to uh, really communicate something that's going on deep within you. And a lot of times if we just communicate about feelings with other people, uh, we start to feel more empowered. We start to feel less bottled up. So this could be a time to let your feelings flow. And finally, the messenger of love is also the one who will guide you toward your bliss. So when we see the Knight of Cups, he's really saying, go toward what makes you feel happiest. Go toward what you love the most. That is going to be the way forward, especially if you're approaching an obstacle. Advice from your inner wisdom, if you picked Dove, is totally a perfect Dove symbol because it's the judgment card and we see the angel of judgment blowing the trumpet and all that was once dead and lost is awoken and rising again. Uh, this is a card of resurrect, uh, resurrection, rebirth, and renewal. And so I just feel like something's stirring back to life for Dove. Uh, this is going to be a wonderful time to get involved in your projects and also to follow your heart. Your higher self is calling you, as all angels in the tarot will symbolize your higher self, and you need to heed its call. And finally, the dead parts of yourself, the things that might have felt lost or forsaken, are starting to stir back to life again. So really give them a platform of which to shine. And finally, the mythic architect that's going to help Dove uh, is Hestia. She's the goddess of the hearth and the home. And she's all about getting cozy and warm and really returning to whatever it is that is home base for you. Hestia is also a card of gratitude and of the Greek goddesses. Uh, she is the most important goddess. She's the one that they gave offerings to first. Uh, because without your home, without that home community, without that warm flame, uh, you're, you're kind of left with nothing. It's really the foundation of everything else. So it feels like you have to get back to the foundation and reawaken that flame within yourself uh, that has to do with the true and authentic you. And then finally, we have the cow spirit, and it says the miracles are endless, and cows are often associated with abundance and security, and also nurturing. We think about cow's milk, um, so this is another maternal symbol. Uh, but cow could just tell you that uh, there is plenty right now. You might want to really focus on abundance and also the things that you're trying to manifest in your life and know that uh, the miracles are endless. You can totally achieve that. Uh, it might just be time to put that work into it. First card for Cow is where it's best for them to place their focus this week, and we get the Three of Wands. We see this card a lot in the Oracle Reveals, but this card shows a man who's looking over a landscape, and he's getting ready to leave his little island. And the waters in front of him are glowing orange from sunrise or sunset, and what this is indi in indicating is that the sun is setting on one part of your life, but it's rising on the other. And just like that expansive view uh, that's in front of the figure on the Three of Wands, this is saying your future is wide open and waiting. So sometimes we get a little stuck. We think that because something happened before a certain way, uh, or because we're afraid something's going to go a certain way, that then it's going to be doomed to go that way again. And the Three of Wands says, actually, the future is unmade. Actually, it's unlimited. There are so many possibilities for you moving forward, and you really need to step uh, forward with that fact. Um, advice from your inner wisdom, uh, if you pick how, is the Chariot card. Another card of embarking. This figure's embarking from his uh, little island. This figure's embarking from the walled city that's behind him. And the walled city represents a comfort zone, something that was secure or safe or something that you knew really well. And now it's time for you to be courageous and go out into the world. And both of these cards have a ring of mystery to them. This figure doesn't know what the future holds in that big, expansive future. And then also, this uh, figure is being pulled by two sphinxes, the creatures of mystery in ancient Egypt, representing the unknown. It's time to let the mystery uh, pull you forward on your own path and really have faith on where it's going to lead you because adventure is going to await. And then finally, we have the mythic archetype that will help you if you pick the cow and how appropriate. It's actually Hera, the queen of the gods. And Hera was called the cow-eyed goddess in the ancient world. So that's kind of a little bit of a cow tie-in there. Hera is all about your duties. She's the goddess of marriage and also institutions. And she's also very faithful in mythology. So this could be a time to be really faithful to your path. And even though you may not know what the future holds or where things are going, Hera is telling you to have faith, to stay focused, to stay committed to what that goal is, because that will lead toward uh, your greatest breakthrough. 
And that is this week's Oracle. I do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you can always catch me over at ElliotOracle.com and schedule a reading with me there. Otherwise, I hope you all have a wonderful week and I will see you again uh, next week. So take care.